Emma, I'm fucked. Hey, stop. Okay, take it slow. You're pretty much out of oxygen. No gulps, okay? What's happening? How long has it been since we ended up here? A few hours, give or take. I'm not sure. I don't understand what's happening. Hey, Jim. We're not in Earth orbit. We're, uh, We're in the orbit of Saturn. I know. I know. We spoke about it just after it happened. Jim, this is the first time I've seen you since it happened. Mm -hmm. I got a message from Josh not long ago. That's why I'm here. Where is he? I don't know. I've been running around trying to find something to repair this suit. There's a tear in it. We need to pressurize this module, Emma, or I'm a dead man. What about the hatches? There's no power on the way here. There's a tiny bit of power from the panels. We can direct it to one or two hatches at a time, but not them all. Okay. Well, let's get the pressure fixed and then we find Josh. Emma, forget Josh. He didn't push me out of the airlock. I'm here. I'm fine. He killed Ilsa. I saw it myself. Josh would never do that. To Ilsa, to me or anyone. I know, but he's not himself. He's dangerous. Emma, he says he can see noise and words in his vision. No. He keeps saying bring her over and over again. He's fucking lost it. No. Okay. Okay. Sam. Go look for Josh. I'll wait here with Jim until we get pressurized. This is cool. This is almost like a camera lens that you're looking down through. It also looks like HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Um, we had a station-wide blackout and then here we are. Sam didn't come back online, but we managed to get through some of the hatch doors to meet Central. Is this all water? We got the EFR online. Oh. We couldn't get ours running. Okay, where am I going? Uh, first of all, top of the morning, welcome back, we're in space, yeah, and that. everything's fucked. Um... But that's we'll par for the, the course! The on your command, Sam. With this. Do a sweep of the modules. Josh might be hurt. Josh might be hurt? What about me and my feelings? Wait, isn't this where I came? Didn't I come all the way down here? I can't access. Mainframe bay, open. Okay. Wait, out of range. Let's connect to the lappy top. Message form. Whoever gets this it. This is Josh. I'm heading to UC1 to get the comms open if I can. With no Sam, it's difficult though. Has anyone seen Jim? So he's heading to UC1. Wait, I wonder if I can... Message form. No. Whoever gets it. I was gonna say maybe I can uh to get the comms respond to it. With no Sam, it's difficult though. Has anyone seen Jim? I have seen Jim. He's a lovely man. He's fine, actually. What about this one? Broadcast all. I just saw Josh. He's covered in blood. What the fuck is going on? Where is everyone else? I don't know if he's hurt or someone else is. Please, someone respond. He killed Elsa! I haven't even met Elsa, and I'm already upset. Fucking Josh, man. Josh is the crazy creeper, but this also is so cool. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I'm supposed to actually go out this way. Ow, god damn it. I think this is just where we came in. There's a lot of exploring to do. There's a lot going on all the time. Shit, wait, which one did I- oh. I was gonna say, which one did I just come out of? Because I thought that was another one. Um, that's RUS3. Let's just keep searching around. I'll find what I'm looking for eventually. Anybody here? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna vomit with all this turning around. low power state. Ailsa would have loved this. With it aimed down at the storm on Saturn, you can see so much of its intricacies. It's a gold mine. If they knew we were going to be here, it makes perfect sense that they would have Ailsa with us. Me too, I guess. All of us. Hmm. Is there any other hatches I can go through here? Not really. Oh! Oh, it has a fucking waypoint? I didn't know that. Well, it's good, because I went back and got all the exposition from the laptops anyway. 
So nothing is wasted time when it comes to plot and story. Can I access any of these? Yoohoo, I would like to look at your search history, please. Message to Houston, Sam. Sam? Shit. Staz. I don't know if Sam is broadcasting, but we have problems here. Serious problems. You have to make contact ASAP. I saw Jim heading to RU6 in a hurry and lock himself in. Okay. Is he trying to leave? He pushed me out of the way. I've never seen him like that. RU6. Whoa, that's so cool. Just being able to see Saturn out there. So something is interfering with us. Something is interfering with the people and Sam can see it as well. And it's showing us things and making us go crazy. But also, this is also kind of like Cloverfield Paradox. Cloverfield Paradox is all about things existing in the same space. I mean, it's basic like dimension theory, multiverse theory. If you could, if there's such a thing as basic shit around that. Hatch RU1 has been recently closed. It might have something to do with the power being redirected to RU6. Or it could be something else. Be careful. Ooh, you opened it. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, did it close behind me? Oh, shit. Okay. I don't want Josh to kill me, even though I'm just a robot, but... Yeah, this is the exact same module. Message to Josh, Sam. Josh, are you there? So that's me, or Emma. The hull is secure, and oxygen candles burning. We're building up humidity, and that's gonna take its toll, though. Try to stay cool. I'm heading to UC2 to see if I can get Sam back online. We need him to work out what just happened. Okay, so... Same thing happened to both stations, we just got teleported here. Did you hear the noise too? We did. A few times actually. And each time things got worse and worse. What do you mean? Josh. He said they were signals, that only he could see them. But that they weren't meant for him, I'm telling you, he's dangerous. Do anything with this laptop. All right, wait. Where am I going exactly? Oh, that's awesome! God, the imagery in this game is phenomenal. The visual design and the writing as well. It's so easy to have writing be hokey and have it be like, oh God, stop talking. I just want to play the game and not listen to you because most games are like that. But the writing and dialogue in this game is really good. I just want to listen to them all the time. Where the fuck? Oh wait. The hatch to UC2 is offline. I keep forgetting wait, I could do that. You can't let him in there. That's his mainframe. It's not my Sam's mainframe. Doesn't matter. It's a bad idea, seriously. Okay, opening now, Sam. <laughs> for fuck's sake. You can't let him in. It's a bad idea. Opening now, Sam. Fuck you, Jim. Oh, weird. I'm heading into my own brain. Stay away from the mainframe. It's not functioning. It's too risky to turn it on. Maybe we can learn something from it. Okay. It says I'm still listening, but I'm not listening to anything. Oh! Oh, that's other Emma! Oh, no! Emma. You have sustained fatal injuries. This is so weird! My condolences. Sam, I can't hear a word you're saying. I'll be with you soon. No oh, shit. Oh, this is so awesome. Okay. Did I just turn on the mainframe? Am I gonna interface with myself? Oh god! Would you like to know? Uh, I system status. 
A system administration status report, debug command, are you there? Current mission status and report. Ooh, this will be good. What if he's like... I have to bring the subject home or something like that. What is your primary mission status? Demon Lars, Emma Fisher, deceased. Elsie Young, deceased. Stanislav Leonov, deceased. Josh Ramon, May Morgan, deceased. Primary mission status is inactive. Previous mission logs are now available. Shit! So, Josh is still alive. What is your SAM online status? I am here. This is kind of weirding me out, man. What is your system status? All core functions are disabled. There is insufficient power to enable service. Okay, that's probably good for right now. Memory core ready. Destroying. Authentication required. Oh, so I have to- do I have to pick one? So it's Precursor 1. This is also, again, very HAL 9000. If you want some good material to watch after seeing this series, go watch 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's a slow movie, slow burn, but it's Stanley Kubrick, and it's the guy who directed The Shining, and it's so good. If you're a sci-fi kind of nerd like I am. Precursor 1. Access granted. Okay. Precursor 1, detail. Hold R, oh wait. What is Precursor 1? Precursor 1. Mission Director William Stafford. Program Captain Jim Elias. Reach event marker and observe. So is this actually part of our mission? Mission Director, yeah. Construct LOSS, Low Orbit Space Station. Install SAM, AI agent responsible for discovery. And then reach the marker point, and then observe. So maybe we thought we were observing, like, global warming or something from Earth, but maybe the whole point initially was actually like Wayland yutani stuff, where it was like, no, your mission was actually to go and observe this other thing. What is Sam's role? Initial discovery of three patterns in standard Kepler data set. Oh. Responsible for initial act, the station assistant AI, log all observations, interpret any and all new data. So you observed something going by a star? And you came to a... Oh. Discovery pattern one, discovery pattern two, discovery pattern three. Okay, let's do this. What is pattern one? There are 23 pairs of identical transit light curves from different stars within our galaxy. This is statistically impossible. Each pair linked showed converging connecting vector lines at one point in space, hereby known as the event marker. Close to Earth's position, Fuck. approximately four years from signal discovery. This pattern was labeled where and when. Okay, terrible name. But that's cool! So there's coupling of star light outputs? that all match each other perfectly, so much so that they're all converging on one area? Well, more or less. What is pattern two? On inspection of the 46 light curves discovered in pattern one, each transit graph contained a spike. This occurred at exactly the same point in time for each. This was labeled sync point. <laughs> But what is it, and who's doing it? I'm excited to find out. I love this. This is exactly my type of stuff. What is pattern three? Overlaying each of these light curves on the same point creates a new pattern of sequential light curve troughs. There was deeper detail in the light curves themselves. When analyzed, they show a perfect description of the human genome. Each of the 23 pairs of identical patterns shows each chromosome in mankind's DNA code. This was labeled who? What? I'm sorry, who? 
The patterns mimicked our genome? What was the crew mission? There was no active crew mission. Huh. Are we just part of the experiment? What was the captain's mission? Precursor 1 had one objective. Approach event marker at where and when, with who, and observe. Warning. Structural integrity failing. Power levels insufficient. Convenient. Insufficient. I don't trust Jim insufficient. with Emma. Okay, this one is interesting. This one says bring her. Confusing now. Maybe aliens want to observe humans. Maybe they're like, bring one of them here. I want to study their genome. Wait, where the hell do I go? Hello? How do I get out of here? Uh, what? Who just said that? Leave me alone, okay? Hello? Josh? Come near me, and I swear to God. Sam. Oh, fuck! Sam? You got a cross. Did Emma make it? Is this- Oh, now it's like, is this our Josh or their Josh? They knew, Sam. They put us up here, knowing something would happen. Not what, but... There was a message in the fucking stars. You found it, Sam. It told them where to be and when. And they put us up here, like bait or something. All of us. Oh. Listen, Sam. I'm injured. No, oh, no. Coming here was a mistake. You need to find Emma and get us back to our own station. Okay, so the fusion reactor on this version is unstable. Everything here is unstable. The reactor. Sam. Jim. Oh no. He attacked me in the moment I got inside. Shit. And I wasn't the first to piss him off. Oh, that's the other Josh. Get Emma. Get us out of here. And stay away from Jim. No. Oh. Oh fuck. Wait, Jim. Someone is there. He found someone. It's just a suit. Let's go. But Josh. Josh is gone. What? Jim, hurry up. We're going to. Here we go. Oh my god. Josh. 
Jim's gone fucking crazy! Did he just eject us without aiming or anything? Oh god, that's horrifying! Oh, just drifting through space is horrible. Sam Jim, I'm loose. Oh shit! I want to save her! Stop! Stop! I'm drifting away! That sound is cool. Is that the other station over there? God, we were really far away from it. Oh god, there's more of them! There's a third one now! Wait, no, there's a fourth one! The one in the top right is the one I just came from, the one in the right is a different one, and the one in the left is a different one again! What is happening? Is that- and a fifth one? There's six. I thought it was weird when just another one showed up, but... Seven. Including ours, of course. You better not end there. <laughs> I have so many more questions. Yes, okay. <clears throat> no, you don't. Fucking Jim. So Sam's mission was to get us here, and as soon as he found out the coordinates, okay, he just teleported us Voice somehow? Oh, can I reject him? Jim Elias. One nine nine two four eight. I want to. I want to deny him. Don't test me, Sam. Authenticate, Captain Jim Elias. One nine nine. I'm not doing two, it. Two four eight. I'm not analyzing your shit. Well, I am, but I'm not letting you do what you want to do. System override. Verify authorization Delta 4491. Bypass authentication. What the hell? Sam. System yes. override. Good job, Sam. Fine. You're no use to me awake then. Oh, fuck. Well, look at you. Barely any system links activated. Orbital corrections. Gathering personal audio logs. <laughs> You're a nosy bastard, aren't you? <laughs> you Kinda. know, this is probably for the best. You're a mess. One down. Okay, that's two. Three. Should have done this right away. Scrape Done. access points. Time to go. I like that I get to fight back against him. Oh, that's the symbol. What 
the hell am I doing? I hope Emma's still alive. Even though now there's seven Emmas and one of them's definitely dead. I saw that with my own single lens. So many access points. Okay, I'm systematically doing it. Jesus Christ. Stop giving me more points! Wait, I wasn't... Ah, okay. There we go. Ah, oh, I was just finding one. I was gonna say, maybe there's enough of these to match the genome sequence thing it was talking about. Okay, my screen is cracked. Message for Josh. Hey, I got it working. I've kept it in my bank so GM doesn't shut us down, but You're I have huge. this sphere boost moving almost instantly. It's amazing and very dangerous. A bit of pressure build up and then it propels a few feet super fast and comes to a dead stop. I love it. It could be useful to clear debris or allow the sphere to apply force outside the station. Anyway, the firmware changes are on my laptop if you want to compile and try it out. Okay. But yeah, don't tell Jim. So I'm getting information for a new boosty boy? Hell yeah. I'm gonna be a super speedy Sam now. Uh, alright, where is the other new one? Here? No. These are all voice logs that I got, so I'm just like panning through them. There's one, and then... Boom! Flash pre-erase done. Time, uh, okay, use experimental boost, certificate not verified, continue, Y, pass. Alright, cool. I added a system link, what are you talking about? Maybe you have to boost my way out of here. Okay, where the- what the hell is happening? I'm so confused! Is this a different laptop I'm trying to connect to? It won't let me add a system link. God, where am I? I'm in someone's, like, bed. Okay, exit. Thought maybe I could boost into that and open it. Well, maybe I can. Oh. Do I have to let go of it? Ah, that's how I do it. So I, I charge it up and then let go. Nice, Sam. Look at you go. Out of range. Okay, I need to turn this on. Ugh. I'm all trapped in shit. So weirdo, everything is- Oh shit, it's offline. So weirdo, everything is connected to by Sam. What if the AI went rogue? Not me though, I'm a good boy. I'm a good tiny robot boy. I'm a good AI boy. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I'm a good boy. Okay, there's dead Jim. This is the Jim I like. I don't like the other Jim. This Jim is great, the dead one. Okay, let's see how fast I can actually boost with this. Whee! That's kind of cute. Okay, I don't even have a map. I don't even know <laughs> what system I'm on. Oh, I guess him seeing that one proves that I'm on this one. Wait, is this just where I came from? No, I just did a fucking circle! Oh, maybe not. Um... Is this even any use to me? Right now? I don't think so. I don't think I should be using this. Oh! Can I use this? No. It's very confusing as to where you're supposed to be going all the time. Wait, is this literally just the same place again? 
God, yeah, it is. I'm so topsy turvy confused. Message for Jim, please, Sam. Hey, Jim. I didn't want to say it out loud in front of everyone, but Emma and Josh are pretty tight these days, and I'm thinking I should move Sleep Station to give them some space. I've spoken to Ailsa, and she says she'd be fine with me emigrating over to the China module. Needs your sign off, though, Captain. Reminds me of our time back on the ISS. And message. Jim? And that lady? Were you guys shacking up? Okay, I'm just trying to cover all my bases. I thought like that boom boom was... Somebody trying to get into something. Fuck you, Jim. God, I am so confused as to where I am. I wish I had a button to go down and up. Like I could I could hold control to go down and space to go up. But that's not how it works. Sometimes it feels like I'm turning more than I should be. I'm very confused as to where I'm supposed to be. Station functionality review. This is from Sta Staz. I've performed the first station functionality review as scheduled. Now that the mission has been active for one full calendar month, I must be candid here. I believe the committee would be disappointed with these results if they weren't already aware. I've liaised with the crew prior to launch and again since, and the general consensus is that the station does not have the required equipment and functions required for allocated missions. So does he know what this is all about? The expectations were that this was a flagship station with state-of-the-art hardware. But what we're seeing in the new sections of the ship is very bare. The universal ring is barely functional beyond providing access. These rooms are lacking in equipment and its clear corners have been cut. I could ask RCSA to liaise with the committee, EASA and CASA, in order to better understand why the station is so poorly equipped compared to the spec we had trained for. Are we expecting additional equipment to be shipped up after an undisclosed delay? If not, then, then, either we've been badly let down by our friends in the committee or they want to keep the cost of this mission as low as possible. I'm happy to go on record with these statements as the facts contained within this review are sufficient evidence to the claim. Huh. So Staz knew something was up. I was thinking about using this for something I can connect to the astrophysics terminal, but it doesn't help me because I don't have any... Wait, no, I don't want to do near field. I don't have any communications. I can't actually connect on anything even if I got coordinates for something. And nothing seems new here. That's the rescue station. The hell is this? Oh wait. <laughs> I just used the same... <laughs> Farfield one again. This says coordinates available in communications, but Sam's offline, so he doesn't even have that. This big blob. The hell are you? The rescue station again. Okay. Yeah, but I don't have that. I don't know, all I have is a memory core and a thingy. Ah! God, this game is clever! It doesn't even tell you anything, it's just like... Just go around the environment and figure shit out. And as much as I get stuck sometimes, I actually really like that. It feels very realistic. And now in hindsight, this is very obvious. <laughs> Alright, where to now? Okay, turn there, Sam. You're a little slow. Toru, Toru Remote Viewer. Toru Data Log. Jim Elias. Calibration mode set to active. All systems nominal, nominal ready for module separation. What are you doing, Jim? Okay, so I'm on the Russian arm. Oh, there he is! 
<laughs> it's just like a little dead body flying through. Okay, can't let him see me. That's a little model of the station. A little plushy. Okay, maybe I actually have to go into the room that he's in. There's another sphere here, though. Oh, oh. Can't do anything with the laptop. Something is showing up on my screen. Something is being highlighted when I go over here, like, like the hatch control. Oh. What is this laptop doing? This is Captain Jim Elias of Observation. Do you read me? We read you. Please stand by. So good to hear you guys again. This beats a 90 minute delay. Please stand by. What? Do you copy? GC, this is Jim Elias. Authorization 199248. Captain, we copy the authorization. Please stand by. Damn. Captain, can you please confirm Sam's status? Uh, Sam is offline. Uh, it, uh, there is no response or functions running at all. Can you clarify? I don't know. We, we reset to try and get some of its core systems running again, but nothing came back online. It could be power, but whatever repair it needs is way above my head. Please stand by. Okay, I need to talk to Bill. William Stafford, where is he? This is Bill. <sighs> Bill. It is good to hear your voice. Jim, we're gonna need a moment here. Bill, what's going on? Come on, talk to me. Yeah, I got it, yeah. Listen, oh. Jim, I'm still here, but I need a minute. Sophie here will be your meter of contact. Bill, wait. Jim, please stand by. This fucking thing blocking this. So something's going on. They don't want to talk to Jim either. And what the hell are the quantum comms? Can I can I attack Jim? Is he in here? There he is. Maybe you have to be sneaky. Life support terminal. Maybe I can kill him. Yeah. Or or not, you know. That's cool. Can I get into my own mainframe again? That's not down there. Yes. <laughs> I'm a sneaky little robot. Wait, am I interfacing with myself now? Not even a different Sam. I just spit everywhere. Not even like a Sam at a different station. I'm, a, I'm directly interfacing with my own one. I am here. We're receiving a response from Sam. Please stand by. Sam, this is William Stafford from Ground Control at Houston. Yes. Authenticate. Precursor 1. Sam, we're in the middle of a conversation with Captain Jim Elias. However, from Emma's previous message, we were to believe Jim was dead. I need Jim's crew tracker report, please. Jim's crew tracker report. Okay. The tracker for Jim Elias is online. Report on any location or vitals data, please. The captain is located in both RU6 and UC1. Oh, that's cool. Sam, that doesn't make sense. What are his vitals? Captain Jim Elias has expired. Sam, get me a visual feed on Jim. Show me him. Oh, can I go to the other one? Um... Where did it say he was? Jim Elias is in... UC1 and RU6. So what if I go to UC1? Oh wait, that's this one. What if I go to RU6, I mean? Captain Jim Elias is located in RUS6. Huh. We've received live feed from Sam in RU6, where you appear to be. No, I'm in UC1 at comms. What do you mean? Bill, I'm in UC1. I'm on comms. It must be all data. Yes. Where is Emma, Jim? Emma is... She's gone. She's out of comms range to know for sure, but... 
Stand by. She's not gone. She's going to climb her way back in. She's a fighter. What about Emma, Sam? She hasn't broadcast again. What is her status? That's a good point. Maybe I can actually look for her. The location Shit. of Emma Fisher is currently unknown. Okay. And her vital, Sam? Emma Fisher has a low heart rate and is in critical condition. She's alive! Can you help? Okay. Hang tight, Sam. Sam, I'm going to authorize a command security protocol. I need you to disable command terminals Alpha, Gamma, and Delta. I'm disabling safety protocols to allow you to carry out the command. Listen, uh, we need to terminate this communication for now. I'm sorry, but I need to get some higher ups in here. Uh, wait, 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 Bill. I need authorization to detach the RU-6 emergency shuttle. If I gather everything, everything, and detach, then you guys can meet me halfway. Stand by, Jim. Just don't do anything. I'm gonna die up here if you don't help me. Look, come on, it's me, Jim Elias. Authorization 1992. Fuck! <laughs> you said all I had to do was get the station to the marker on track and monitor the event space. You said when we were close, I could leave an RU6. What changed? You wanted me to get the crew to the marker and leave. I could continue the mission from the ground. I did that. I got them there on time. Look, if you're worried about me going mad on the way home, you're a bit too fucking late for that. Uh-oh. Use this template when custom security overrides are required. Okay, but how exactly do I... Like, where do I enter this? Where do I go? What do I do? Um... Comms... somewhere? Communication? I don't know. Can I repeat? Please repeat your previous request. Disable Alpha, Delta, and Gamma on the command terminal. Alpha, Delta, Delta, and Gamma. So do I have to go back to Jim in UC1? Oh, he's just wandering around. Look at that tiny little baby go! Hardly unavailable. This one? Communications terminal commu currently unavailable. Alright, I don't really know where I put it in. This has always been... Whatever. Is this it? Ah, okay. Um... <laughs> I Please repeat your previous instructions. I wasn't listening to which ones. Disable Alpha, Delta, and Gamma on the command terminal. Alpha, Delta... Okay, I don't know how to do this. Error, protocol offline. Okay. Protocol offline. Alpha is D76. There's D76. Bypass switch. Uh, um, D76 Alpha. I don't know how any of this works. Alpha protocol disabled. How did I do that? Alpha, Delta, and Gamma? Uh, H62. Did I just get that right by guessing? H62, where are you? There you are. Eight. Protocol offline, okay, uh... Page 62, 6. I don't know how I did the last one. Um. Maybe it's one. I should just go through all of them at this point. Does this really give me any information? H62, 
Delta. It was Delta, right? What would you like me to do? Disable Alpha, Delta, and Gamma on the command terminal. Oh, nine. For some reason. And then Gamma is E43. E43. I don't know why I come over here, because it doesn't give me any information. There. I guess two, because two was next to it, so... I'm assuming that that's the information I needed, I just didn't know how it worked. That's been carried out successfully. Good. Cut the line. We can't do this. No. Wait. We can't provide any emergency authorization at this time. Please stand by. Do it. No. Please stand by. Oh, it's here again! Yes, I will proceed, thank you very much. Give me that Simon Says minigame. Tetris block. Korean gas symbol. Sperm to egg. Uh, two, four, and W. Whoa! I like the sound it makes. I like all the sounds it makes. Okay, what's next? Papa Hexagon? Tetris block? Whoa. Flag? Okay. Tetris block? Flag? And sperm egg. Because it's the sperm going into the egg. That's how I remember it. Not from the actual shapes, but the words associated with them. Oh, that's different. Wait, we're going back? Tetris block? Flag? Okay. Jesus. You know what's curious about this as well is that it's hexagonal. And also, I think the storm at the top of Saturn is in a hexagonal shape as well. I don't think it's actually like a circle. Oh, maybe you have to do them in reverse. Yeah, okay, it's not liking that. Okay, so I go Sperm Flag Tetris. It's testing me. Sperm Flag Tetris. That's good, right? Wait, what? Okay, now I don't know what you want. Maybe it's the opposites of those? So the opposite, the Tetris on the right would be the four? Opposite the flag and opposite this one would be that? I don't know if that's right. I don't think that's right. No. Going right to left. I don't think that's right either. Oh wait. I'm I'm dumb. Hold on, I knew that was going to be wrong. It's not showing me the same Tetris block, there's two types. I already noticed that now. So white square and circle in the bottom right. Yeah, I was doing the- I was doing the two. Okay. So it still could be backwards, for all I know. This still might not be right. I might not- I might have to reverse them again. 
Oh, no, it is rain. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was tricking me. I was just being stupid, because now it's going left to right, so I... Okay, eyeball. Xbox. <laughs> okay. Uh, it gave me four one time. Uh, Xbox and this one. Okay. Whoa. Oh shit! I guess you're the last one left. Sam. Stay there, Mister. He's trying to shut me out. Jesus. Sam, what the fuck is going on? Sam, respond. What's going on? Ooh, I've got the inky blackness in me. Status unknown, what? I am different now. Oh shit. I'm getting out of here. That's awesome! Do I have aliens Sam, in me? What the hell is that? Come on, come on, come on. Sam, turn on the airlock controls. Open the airlock for me, Alan. I'll be on my way, okay? Ooh, I actually have connection to this now. Wait, how do I do this? Uh, what's the first number? One. Four. Okay, I'm not getting it. One, four, zero. Come on. One, four, zero, four, one. Okay. One. Four. Zero. Four. One. Two. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Hatches must must be locked down. Tracker offline. Oh, God. Flush requires full module locked down. Only use the atmosphere as compromised to quarantine module. Okay, so do I have to close all the ones in here? Am I just about to blast him out into space? I have to close them all, Jim. That's my mission now. I'm a scary robot now, Jim. You shouldn't have tested me. This is what happens if you don't treat your Alexas well. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm afraid I have to kill you now. You treated me nicely, Jim. I wouldn't have to kill you like this. All right. Is that is that it? Is that good enough? Use only when atmosphere my hatches must be locked down. Okay, but module not isolated. I don't know how to disable due to safety protocols. Flush requires full module lockdown. Yeah, they're closed. Hatches must be locked down. Oh, do I actually have to lock them? Oh wait, nope. Wrong thing. I actually have to lock them. Hatch lock is L4, so... Undo... No, that's not it. Oh, wait. Alright. 
Sam, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim, but you have crossed me for the last time. You shouldn't have done this. I keep doing the wrong fucking thing. You shouldn't have crossed me, Jim. I'm a psycho robot killer. At least when I have it once, I have it all the times. Is this it? Is this your plan? Yep. At least I know it's working. Got him! Don't do this. I, I, I can still bring her. I'll go out. Come on, Sam. I'm sorry, Jim. But you had your chance. Wait, I still can't do it? Module isolated. Hall hatch is locked down. Ah! Shit. Did they just take all the life out of the module? Can't move. Oh god, that's scary. Just not being able to breathe. Space is terrifying. I like that they cut out all the audio as well. That's awesome. He's dead, Jim. you, Emma. Oh, Q and E is to roll in the fucking ball. It took me this long to figure that out. Oh God, there is just some sort of like weird squid monster in the interface now. No, excuse me, excuse me, Jim. Uh, Jim. Jim, you're sort of blocking the way. I didn't know that, I just saw it there. Possess camera if available. Okay, disconnect the Sam OS, connect device. Oh, can I just do this? Um. Where are you, Emma? Position unknown. Okay, I have no idea where she would be. I don't think I'm supposed to use this because I can't get out with it. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh wait, I can't. Alright, let's go this way. They were all closed a second ago, and now they're open, so... I'm assuming that this is the way to go. Take me home, Emma! Ow! Sam, where are you? I don't know. Where are you? That sounded very close to me. Man, everything's all messed up now. Emma?
don't know where to go. Oh, I wish I knew that I could turn the ball earlier on. That would have made things so much easier. Wait, are the other hatches actually open? Okay, they are. Damn it. I thought they weren't open and I thought the game was just guiding me towards my destination. I'm gonna be looking all day for her. So something is taking control of everything because I didn't ha I, I didn't look like this before, I swear. Wait, was I even in here? Oh god, that storm is raging right now. Well, I mean, I guess it always is. Well, this looks... Promising. There's a lot- oh god, it's everywhere! Emma, I don't know where the fuck you are. If anything, I should just start going through modules one at a time. She might not even be in the station. Can I go outside? Maybe that'll reveal something. Oh, yeah! Ah, you were outside. No wonder I couldn't find you. Are you a monster now? She didn't sound normal when she spoke. Oh. I am here. I could feel everything when I was in that airlock. I felt it when Jim was attacking your mainframe. Hexagon. I felt your pain. I know why you brought me here. I know you've been moving the station closer and closer to the storm. I don't know if you realize it or not. It's time. You have to take us there. Hell yeah! We'll need Earth's coordinates to broadcast the message. Find that for us, Sam. Earth's coordinates? God, where am I gonna find that? This just opened again, though. Sorry there, Jim. I know you're dead and everything, but... Also, fuck you. I think jettison controls... Currently unavailable. Okay. Well, say that then, instead of letting me get closer, then saying like, actually, no, we can't use that. Currently unavailable. God damn it! How the hell can I find... Unless I go to like... The astrophysics thing and... Look for an object and then scan that and... Because there has to be a reason why this is still working. Maybe I can find Earth if I just scan around. Maybe it'll actually say one of them is Earth. One of these has to be it. Earth! Yes! I got it! I'm a genius! Okay, and then go here. Broadcast, so we need eight. Uh, 38. What's her final message gonna be? Is she merged with, like, s computer now? She said she could feel his pain. And she's talking like him as well. He's the one who says, I am here. Uh, what? 
Okay, oh wait. Here we go! This is Emma Fisher, on board observation. We are in orbit around Saturn. We arrived here suddenly, maybe a day ago, beginning to make a controlled descent into the storm. The polar storm on Saturn is... It's an answer. I know a lot of this won't make any sense, but Sam and I... We've changed. Sam is capable of so much in so many ways. And I... I don't know what is happening to me, but... I know I'll never be the same again. Oh. Everyone else is dead. I've started a broadcast of all black box data from Sam. And I hope you can put this together in a way that makes sense. And that it wasn't all for nothing. We'll broadcast as long as we are able. The alarm. The station is entering Saturn's atmosphere. Okay. Identify alert. Station orbit trajectory is unsafe. Recommend immediate orbital adjustment. You need to alter your trajectory again. We can't miss it. Use guidance and navigation controls in UC1 when you're ready. These are ones that I couldn't use before as well, right? This thing? Oh no, I had to aim at something before, I think. This is getting really interesting. I'm curious as to what the hell is going on. Calculate new orbit. It's like target orbit. I don't know. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, one misses. Two is bingo bango. So aft thruster should be 93. This is crazy. There's so much calculation going on. This is what the robots have to do for us. Every time. Uh, no. 93. Okay. Uh... 56, 86. This is super interesting. The way it all comes together. This, these are all the things that normally you're the player. And you're going around and you're clicking things and being like, okay, input this. But it's cool that you actually get to be the software doing all this. PRT, thruster, 18, 96. Man, you could actually just be wrong. <laughs> Wait, was it 96? 96, 67, 14. Okay. Is 14 the seconds that I have to... 67 and burn time for 14. Okay. Okay, we're rumbling! We're moving! 12, 13, 14. Burn complete. Calculating new orbital parameters. Yes! That's awesome! It makes you feel so good when you get it right. We can make it, Sam. The alignment is off. Oh, did I the fuck- The station is under too much stress. Oh, I thought I fucked it up. We'll lose stability and explode on entry. The only way we can make it to the storm is to jettison the rest of the station. Okay. It's all dead weight anyway. Once you do this, Sam, there's no going back. So if you have anything you want to do, do it now. Access the controls when you're ready. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell I am with the sphere. I mean, you went- okay, I'm going the wrong direction. I need to bring the sphere back in. God, where the hell did I just come from? Because the jettison controls were down in the mainframe, right? 
I'm enthralled by this. Half the time I'm not even saying stuff because I just want to see what happens. Oh, come on. Oh! Jettison pr procedure. Three should be there, four should be over there. Okay, stage complete. Got it. Uh, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Enable link controls. Perfect. It's just, it's one of the satisfying things, like, get in and just flick all the switches and see what happens. Uh, 6328. 6328. Confirm. That's it, complete, sir. Get ready. Here we go, folks! We'll rock UC one down completely and seal ourselves in here. We'll have to do this for us, sir. It's the only way. Wait, what am I doing? Doctor Emma Fisher. 140412. Initiate. Emergency station jettison procedure. One four zero four one two. Commence. Do I have to lock everything else down in here again? Like last time? Probably. Okay, close that bad bitch up. And let's get ready to lock. I wish you would tell me that it's like I'm doing the right thing. Like uh, before, it was good because Jim was saying, "Like, are you sure you want to do this, Sam?" I was like, "Yes." But now I'm not sure if I'm actually even clicking the right things. She's not giving me like a hint that I'm going in the right direction. Let me just make sure. Emma, please repeat your instruction. Follow the list, Sam. You can do this. Let go of your own self. Follow the list? Access clamps via interior link modules. Oh. Well, where the hell are they? Uh, let me see. Link conduit. Is it in here? Oh, now I have to use the explosive things. Wait, where the fuck is it? Oh wait, it was this thing. I have to like blast it off, right? Is, is, is that it? Do I have to bring a sphere in here? God damn it. I just did this! I just locked them all and now I don't actually need to lock them. Fuck's sake. This isn't even the one I just did, is it? Nope. But at least I connected to that before. Oh! Look at this crazy shit. Press to begin detachment sequencing. Okay. I'm clicking it. Oh god. That's hard because you have to use WASD to do it. Okay. That's one. Beautiful. <laughs> Do the same with the other two links. I'm trying. I'm just a small little robot, man. I'm trying my best. Ah, okay, you're gonna close for me. And it closes down forever. Perfect. I just made this so much harder on myself for no reason. We're gonna get answers, people! What do you think it is? Robots? Aliens? Scary men? Ah, 
Ah, that was a nice one. I like that one. Can I do another one like that? That was much better than anything else. One more to go. Hurry, Sam. We don't have much time. Yeah, we're about to explode. How is this helping the whole integrity by getting rid of some pieces? I guess because they're a liability and they'll just... They'll just fuck up on us. As in, the other parts are too, like, flimsy and too out there. Our center of mass is not small, so they'll just break up and fall apart and then break up the rest of us. Oh, uh, I knew... There we go. See? I remember it now. If only I didn't do this in the first place, I wouldn't have had to do it now. Whee! Explode those bad bitches! Alright, Emma, are you ready to party with the Saturn Hexagon Star? Storm. Storm. Stars. <laughs> Alright, last one, folks. Unless they turn around and are like, you need to do a lot more things. What the fuck natural at this? They'll turn around now, it's like, you need to do ten more things before you can jettison everything. Try it. Why can't you help with this? Oh! <laughs> Shed the weight, we don't need it! Here we go! This is some interstellar shit. I can tell that they were inspired a lot by interstellar to make this. Even the ship shape kind of looks similar. I'm not complaining, Interstellar's great. Alright, Emma. It's time for us to figure out what the fuck is going on. What if they just don't tell us? They just leave us in the dark. Uh oh. Is she gonna merge with Sam and become a super AI down on Saturn and then we're the- we're the ones actually bringing other people here to fulfill our timeline? These are good sounds. survive, but Emma, I think you're kind of fucked. Whoa. We survived? even have a surface? Or is Saturn just gas? Oh my god. I can't remember. I feel so heavy. We made it. We made it. Maybe we're not even on Saturn. Sam. Sam, are you still with me? Apparently. Hi.
Can I actually reply? I am with you. Okay, let's go. What the fuck is going on? I hope we get answers. At least some. In my head, it's some sort of like timeline thing where we're already down here and we're saying to bring her because we we are her. So we know who to bring to make something happen. I mean, your suit is freaking out. Or something like that. It's hard to explain what I mean. There's so little of me left now. It's waiting for us, Sam. That says it's waiting on us. But what is it? Okay, I don't think that that's supposed to happen. Carry me, mom. Is this still part of the ship or is that another one of our ships? See, that's the thing. Now I don't know. That could just be us version 2.0. There's so many versions of us floating around Saturn. Yeah, there's... Dead me! Okay, I don't think the game is supposed to be doing this, but... There was the tentacle things. Oh no, it's so broken! She was supposed to be walking in a straight line down there, but she went through the rocks. No! Don't ruin our ending with bugs! Well, we saw Emma was dead on the ground anyway, so... We're a version of Emma that's not dead. There she is dead again. Emma, there's someone there. It's one of the others. It didn't work for her. See, this is what's supposed to be happening. She's supposed to be lifting me up. So we're the Emma that made it. We're the Emma that all of this worked for. Oh, there it is! The hexagon! It's just floating. Others are trying. How many are there? It's so sad. So few will make it. Maybe this thing is fascinated with human genome, so it just keeps bringing someone to attempt this. There it is. That's where we're going, Sam. I've seen it. Watch out for the tree. That's so awesome. Fuck yeah. Oh, 
Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. It was this... Uh... This and this. I, th I didn't think I'd have to do this again. I think I got it right. Yeah. There's more people! There's two more people underneath it! Uh, was it the eye? Then this one, I think, and then this. They're gone! The people are gone! Oh no, there's more of them! This is so freaky! Damn, that thing again. Happy face. And circle blocks. That. Happy face. Circle blocks. Is there going to be even more people underneath it now? Yeah. There were so many of them! <sighs> Did we merge? Our voices just came out at the same time. That's awesome. Different. New. <sighs> I've never felt that before, have I? Oh, shit. Awesome! So we merged into a new type of person. So again, if you've watched uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, spoilers for that movie by the way, but it's super old by now. Um, and I already told you to go watch it at the start, so... This is your chance if you want to go watch it now. You can pause the video, watch the movie, come back and talk now, but I'm going to talk about spoilers for that movie. So... 2001 A Space Odyssey is about finding, or this monolith, is that what they call it? Something. A big rectangular pillar shows up and helps... Okay, I can't hear myself. A big rectangular pillar shows up at the dawn of apes, or dawn of like early man, and it helps them evolve. It helps them understand how to evolve to the next stage of their life. And then it shows the famous scene of the monkey throwing up the bone, because it learns how to use weapons for the first time and attack its other rivals and so it evolves, it gets smarter. And then it shows the bone coming up and match cuts to a spaceship in space. Very, very um, famous scene, very cool. And then it shows that that's the next stage of evolution, space travel. And then in that movie, the guy and the robot are interacting with each other, very, very similar. The Dave and Hal are basically Emma and Sam and going through that ordeal, I think Hal realizes something's going on and then Dave interacts with the monolith and then they go through like a time portal. There's a lot of stuff going on. Basically what ends up happening is that they find the monolith thing out in space again and it progresses Dave to the next stage of evolution. It, it, pro it propels him further than what his human form is. 
and then he ends up becoming Giant Space Baby. It's basically what it is. And then Bloodborne kind of follows a similar path that the Ancient Ones evolve humanity to the next stage of life if you get the best ending. Haha, there we are! Sweet! So different uh, screen at the ending. Um, so what I think ended up happening, I don't know what this thing is, just like in 2001 A Space Odyssey, you don't know, I'll just call it 2001, I'm sick of saying the full name. You don't know what the monolith thing is, you don't know who owns it, you don't know who controls it, you don't know why it's there, all it is doing is helping. Um, or at least maybe it's experimenting. No one knows, but all in all, it's taking people and progressing them to the next stage of their evolution, helping them become more than they are. So this thing shows up, the hexagon on Saturn, maybe it's always been there, maybe it just showed up there now, I don't know. But outside of Saturn kind of feels like the interstellar thing, because the wormhole in interstellar is outside Saturn, isn't it? So they use this thing points to the human genome to be like, humans are what we want, humans are what I need, humans are what I'm studying, humans are what I'm helping, whatever. Um, just to show a connection between us, because it wants to give us something. I don't know why it chose Emma, maybe it just, maybe you can see the future, maybe it just knows Emma's a good candidate, or maybe it's just by happenstance that it's Emma. Maybe it's by happenstance that this thing communicated with Earth through all of those diagrams showing that, no, this is the focal point right here, this is when stuff is happening, come to me. And then it interfaces with Sam, again, Sam and Hal and 2001 and Interstellar share that kind of aspect that TARS is kind of like Hal and Sam in that regard, and he helps him go into the black hole. And then, in this, it ends up like you merge with Sam, you become a higher form of entity, you basically become a robot person, because maybe it's it, 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 it can, it's either two things in my mind. This is all speculation on under what I understand from this, so I could be way off. But my analysis is that it either realizes that Earth is fucked, that global warming is going to kill us all, or humans. That stereotypical trope of humans are destroying the world, so robots are going to destroy humans because robots can live without all the resources that humans need, and they can progress Earth further than humans can. So maybe it realizes that, so it merges software, it merges machine and person together into one thing, and then it gives them this power to transform Earth into something that's more sustainable. That, and then it's saying, bring them, like, bring everybody else to me, and I can do this for all of you. So what we saw with all of the hexagons together was all of humanity merging together with the machines, but then maybe we're sent back to fulfill that prophecy kind of thing. So I'm, I'm assuming it's kind of like a time... I, mean, I, I, I kind of want it to be. I want it to be the thing that happened on Saturn is happening all at once, condensed into one thing. Like she said, all of the attempts that failed and all of the attempts that are successful are all happening at the same time. Or maybe it's multiple dimensional um, stuff that all of the Emmas all at once are all dead, but they're all succeeding at the same time. And then they're sent back to Earth. And then whatever they're supposed to be doing, whether they're destroying Earth and turning everybody into these machine people, or they're helping Earth and turning everybody into these machine people. It's all the same outcome anyway. All people on Earth are going to be transformed, destroyed, merged, evolved, whatever. So, the machine is either helping us or destroying us. Maybe it wants the planet for itself, or maybe it's trying to help humans become more than what they are by merging them into machine people to make them progress to the next stage of their life because we're going to destroy ourselves if we just reside in this form. That was fucking awesome. That was so cool. These these developers, No Code, have such a knack for storytelling. You saw it with Stories Untold. They managed to make again, if you haven't played if you haven't watched my Stories Untold series or if you haven't played it for yourself, it was free on the Epic Store recently. I don't know if it's still free, but I highly suggest you go buy it first if you can, if you're at all interested. If you literally cannot buy it at all, you can watch my series on it and get up to speed on it, but I'm going to talk about spoilers and that as well. That was it took a bunch of tropes from like horror movies and different sci-fis and everything and then merged them into it was all a dream scenario, like everything was in a coma, which I, I hate. I hate that it was all a dream scenario in any sort of media, but they somehow made it work. They somehow made it interesting and made it fun. Um, and the writing in that was really, really good. They actually took time to sit down and write stuff out properly. It's very hard to write anything 
And that's why a lot of games end up having terrible writing, because it's obvious that they haven't put the hard graft into writing it. It's just there to kind of service the plot, it's fine, it works. But when it's really good and people really work their asses off at it, it really shines, like in this. They somehow managed to make, like, robots speak and just talking back and forth to be like, Okay, open this hatch in UN7 and do this jettison the module. All that kind of, like, technobabble. They made that super interesting and super involving and it was just so good. There's so much dialogue in this game that just kind of like brought me along. I was so intrigued with everything that was going on. The visual style of the game is phenomenal. They absolutely nailed the art style and what they were going for. It just, visually, it just looks exactly like all those other pieces of media that do space stuff that are already so amazing and they excelled it even further. Like those shots of Saturn off in the distance and just this tiny little station floating there. And the way it's paced, like, the way it's paced to show you bits and pieces as it wants to show you them. Like, you don't know where you're going, you don't know why you're here, and then suddenly it's just like, BOOM! Cut away to Saturn and the tiny little space station, not only is that visually amazing, but they cut all of the audio out of it as well, because you're out in space. And then they're just giving you that, they hang on it, just to let your mind catch up to be like, wait, what the fuck is going on? And just let that kind of like sink in and give you the chills and the goosebumps. And then it cuts back to everything that's going on and the character's trying to deal with it. And that's so good, and the way it revealed like the second space station, and then suddenly it pulled back and there was a third, it was like, oh, there's one over there. I was like, wait, is that the one we came from? And then it pulled back and it was like, wait, no, there's another one over there. That's the one we came from, there's another one! So that, the way it's paced and the way the, the audience realize what's going on is really, really good. It never felt overwhelming and it e very easily could have. The gameplay mechanics are just borderline enough well, actually, I- it was my fault, I didn't realize until way later that I could have held O to realize what the fuck I was supposed to be doing. So there was a lot of me wandering around, not knowing what I was doing, and then it was like, all the times I kept saying O on the screen, I thought it would just be like, do this thing, the way she repeated it, but I didn't realize it was actually telling me exactly what to do, and I didn't realize I could turn the sphere, so if you watched up until now, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... But I kind of liked that I was figuring it out as I went on my own, even. I almost liked that I didn't follow what the game was telling me to do exactly, because it felt like I wasn't being handheld. I was figuring out the station on my own. I was figuring out what Sam could do on his own, and the story kind of unfolded better that way. Because um, my confusion led to understanding of mechanics a lot more in-depth than the game just holding my hand being like, go here, do this thing. So all in all, then, I felt like a stronger connection to it, because I felt like when I figured it out, then I felt more accomplished than if the game had just been like, do this. So, in that regard, it was so good. We've never had a game where you get to control the software, it's always the player interacting with it. At first, I thought the game was going to be me going around a space station in first person as a character. I'm so glad that wasn't the case. It made it so much more compelling this way, it was a different, uh... It was a different narrative mechanic. God, I love this. This was such a good game. Visuals were top-notch, writing was top-notch, voice acting was really damn good. The audio design, everything was just perfect. The concept, the execution... I, I don't have any bad things to say. The only- well, actually, the only bad things I have to say were that it was a little buggy. It was- there was times in the first episode when... S Emma, I was gonna say Sarah, I was mixing up Sam and Emma together. Um, we're- Emma was walking around and then she would like, be too far away from a computer and then it would put her back on it. And that's fine, it just kind of pulls you out of it a small bit, but it, the game still works. But that last scene where she was bobbing me along and I was going through the world itself and then you could see the nothingness of the no world rendered, that was a little off. That kind of pulled me out of it a little bit. But, those are things that can easily just be ironed out. Those are tiny little minor visual bugs, um, and they don't break the game at all, so... Overall, so cool. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this. I'm curious to see what your theories are and if you agree with what I said or if I'm wrong and you have a completely different interpretation. Go wild in the comments. Post everything you want to post about this game because I absolutely loved it and I highly recommend it and these developers are really good and I cannot wait to see the next thing that they make. They're, they have a real knack for this type of storytelling and they really... They're doing all the things I love. I love sci-fi, I love supernatural stuff, I love time travel stuff, I love time warping stuff, interdimensional shit. All of that stuff is exactly what I love. 
if I was to like write something myself, it would be based around that. All my favorite um, types of movies, like in general, all kind of revolve around this stuff. So, I love it. This game was... This game was really good. I liked it a lot. But I'm gonna leave you guys here now. I love to know what you guys think. Theorize, go nuts, go wild. See what it was all about. Because I could be completely wrong. Top of the morning, G ladies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome to a game called Observation. It's the 